What is up, people? Today, we're diving into one of the more economic and PvP-focused features of Ashes of Creation, that being caravans. The caravan system in Ashes of Creation is an open world PvP system that revolves around intrepid risk versus reward thought process that allows you to transfer large amounts of goods from node to node for players wishing to turn up some profit. Resources throughout the world will be restricted based on zones, seasons, and player activity, so these caravans will be crucial when it comes to spreading goods across Vera that others may need. These caravans are only able to be sent to and from village stage nodes, which is stage 3 and above, and there are actually three different types of caravans for players to interact with. The Mayoral Caravan are those launched by mayors of nodes and are NPC-driven caravans. These guys help you establish trade routes with other nodes, allowing you to trade goods with those ally nodes in different parts of the world. Quest-driven caravans are those initiated by player choice, allowing for a diverse choice of trade routes and launch windows for a player to choose from. These guys can be summoned via an NPC, but you'll still want to bring some friends along to help protect it as it reaches its destination. Although they have such a wide variety of launches, it will be hard for an organized group to take on these guys and figure out where they're going because there is minimal fast travel, but these guys still sound as though they are more automated and NPC driven and not controlled by the player. Personal caravans are those summoned by the player though, where the player becomes the driver. These guys can be launched from any storage point in the world and they come in varying sizes. They will initially have have a racial appearance to them based off the driver's chosen race, but for those of you who have been buying up all those cosmetic packs, you will be able to apply those skins to your personal caravan, making it really feel your own. When caravans are initiated, it creates a PvP objective that players will need to defend until it reaches its destination. This objective doesn't subject you to the corruption system, as anyone who is engaged with PvP combat towards the caravan will be set as a combatant, basically meaning you guys can kill each other at will with without the risk of being flagged as corrupted. When going up against these guys, there will not be a way to see the exact loot inside it, but there will be visual hints that may suggest the loot even if skins are applied, so you might see some gold ore or something in the back if it's gold oriented or things like that. If you and your friends are attacking and succeed, the caravan will be destroyed and the portion of the goods will be dropped that anyone can then loot, where the remaining loot will be lost in the destruction of the caravan. For those of you on the defending side, you might be wondering what is even the point? Well, this allows you to make lots of money by successfully transporting goods, whereas caravans can hold much more weight than your bag inventory can, and it makes for a much more efficient way to transport. If you come under attack, a quest objective will pop up, giving players rewards for successfully defending or attacking the caravan. To give you an idea of how much more they can carry, well, mules, which are player-owned mounts that can carry gatherable resources, can carry roughly 10 times more than the player's backpack, and caravans can carry roughly 10 times more than mules can. This can be altered a bit as caravans will have customizable stats, allowing you to change up the capacity, defensive points, speed of the caravan, and number of hired NPC guards. The items you store in these caravans will initially need to be put in crates as well, which have their own storage capacity based on the types of crates, and then these crates are loaded into the caravan. This might seem like a lot of unnecessary work, but these guys may not stick around as they will be tested out during Alpha 2 along with the whole caravan system. Because unfortunately, we didn't see much of the caravans in Alpha 1. Although they were present, they were extremely buggy and didn't really work that well most of the time. Caravans will also be impacted by road systems as roads are generated and influenced by player actions and as a node levels up. The road becomes better the higher level the node is and allows for the caravan to traverse faster. But these can also be impacted by weather events as well as a snowstorm could block a road requiring you to seek an alternate route. What are your thoughts on the caravan system in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to do so using my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.